Mead Instruments Infinity 90mm AZ Refractor Telescope Aperture, 90mm, 3.5 Focal Length, 600mm Focal Ratio, F-6.7 Rack and Pinion Focuser Alt Azimuth Mount with Pan Handle and Slow Motion Controls for Precision Tracking means you can easily track objects day or night low, 26mm, C Medium, 9mm C and high, 6.3 mm, magnification eyepieces give you variety for any viewing situation and 2x Barlow lens doubles the magnifying power of each eyepiece red dot viewfinder helps you point your scope at objects you want to observe and accessory tray stores accessories while observing includes astronomical software and instructional DVD. Style, 90mm AZ Refractor Product Description Ideal for the observer who views both astronomical and terrestrial objects The Mead Infinity Series combines an altazimuth mount and quality optics for a superb value. For newcomers and beginners alike heck these refracting telescopes are a great way for you to discover the cosmos and the outdoors. You'll discover more with the Mead Infinity series. If you've never owned a telescope before, rec the Infinity 90 Refractor is a great telescope to get started in astronomy. This 90mm, 3.5, aperture gives bright, sharp images for both land and celestial objects. Whether you're viewing the rings of Saturn, polar caps on Mars, cloud bands on Jupiter or land objects, the Infinity 90 Refractor allows the first-time observer to explore the world solar system and beyond. Pro's right side up image means you can use it for daytime observing, birds hunting ocean etc. Easy assembly refractor means you don't have mirrors to align, column 8, it's ready to go out of the buckskins. Tracking celestial objects is less easy than an EQ mount because the controls function left C right Q P C down whereas EQ mounts turn with the rotation of the Earth. How is this telescope different than the other Infinity models, 102C, 80C, 70C etc? A. The differences between each model are aperture size. The bigger the aperture rec the more light gathering power the telescope will have ec resulting in brighter, detailed images. The Infinity 90 has a 90mm aperture rec the second largest of the Infinity series. The Infinity 90 comes with a pan handle attached to the mount allowing for easy adjustments when locating an object C while the Infinity 50C, 60C and 70 do not. It also comes with three IPSS while the Infinity 60 and 70 come with two. From the manufacturer Mead Infinity 90 Altazimuth Refractor Telescope comes complete with everything you need to view the wonders of the night sky the first time out. 90mm, 3.5, Refracting Telescope delivers bright and detailed images that is perfect for viewing both land and celestial objects. Features a precision altazimuth mount with slow motion controls that makes it easy to track celestial objects as they move across the night sky. Comes with three eyepieces that provide low C medium and high powered magnification for viewing a wide range of objects, moon planets or land. Bonus Autostar Sweet Astronomy Planetarium DVD with over 10C000 celestial objects. Windows PC only. One year warranty.
I read many reviews for various telescopes in this price range before choosing this one. In the end I chose this for the following reasons, 1. The specifications of the scope. 90mm is the largest refractor scope in this price range. 2. The image is not reversed or upside down. This means daytime terrestrial viewing is possible. 3. The mount is not a typical alt azimuth. It has fine tuning knobs so you can track during celestial viewing. 4. This scope came with three eyepieces and a 2x Barlow lens. It also has a red dot viewfinder. I was very skeptical due to the lack of reviews but it came with everything I wanted as a first time buyer. It arrived professionally packaged and with all the pieces. It was simple to assemble and I was outside calibrating the viewfinder within about 10 minutes. The moon is amazing especially when less than half full. I can see Jupiter with four of its moons and if focused properly I can see the two major bands across its surface. To see Jupiter clearly I found the best method is to choose your eyepiece focus it using the surface of the moon and then use the viewfinder to target the planet. The only thing I think this telescope could benefit from is a finer focus knob. It is however adequate if you are patient or use the method I mentioned above. I am attaching a photo of the moon I took my first day of use. I took the picture using my phone by just holding it up to the eyepiece so it is not crystal clear. The image you see through the eyepiece is very clear. I hope this helps others who are considering this purchase.